Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something slightly different. So now we're inside the, the barn where we used to have cows and cattle. And uh, we stopped milking, I think it was in 2018. And at that time we didn't really know what to do with the, the barn itself. So instead of letting it deteriorate down, we got rid of all the pens, we sold all the equipment. We still have the, the trail for the feeding wagon in the roof here and we put concrete on the floor and obviously we painted it. My dad have had a hobby for quite some time where he's been very interested in horse carts and horse carriages and basically anything that is horse driven so to say we have some few horse implements up on the second floor which is which are cedars and tatters and, and plows and things like that down here we decided to put the horse carriages and uh, the horse wagons that we have collected up through times so i'm not going to make a very long video i just want to give you a quick tour of the the carriage we have here and i will start with this one this is the first one, we, one of the first one we got, and this is actually the Royal Horse Wagon. There is one significant time it was used, and that was, was when uh, King Haakon uh, arrived from England after the Second World War. Then they used this carriage from the harbour and up to the castle. And we haven't really done too much on it. We have sandblasted it and, and put new um, paint. We, replace the leather here and the lanterns. Those are not the original, those are new. But one thing that is kept intact is actually the signia, the royal signia on the side of the door here. So this was uh, originally in a museum and then my dad bought it from the museum. Uh, that museum is located in Stavanger. It's actually close to the resident, to the royal family because they have a resident here in this area. So um, we have lent it out to the, to the museum every now and then, but uh, now we keep it here. Moving on to the next one, I guess some of you have been in Disneyland or Disney World, and this is the uh, Cinderella wagon. This one is not very old. Well, we had it for some time, but we haven't done anything with it. So it's in the original state. Uh, we usually rent that one out for weddings and things like that. And actually my sister, she was using this in her wedding. So it's really, really nice. And I've seen this uh, wagon in other countries as well. Uh, pretty much the same, but a little bit different setup. There are some who are using a crown on the top here and somebody have fully glass on the sides here where, where this one is, is open. So this is not a uh, vintage one, this is a relatively new. So we have been using, I think I've used that one twice during the summertime, which was really, really nice because you put down these uh, kalesh, as we call it. So you get an um, open wagon, and that's really nice during the summertime. And we have used this one, I think, t three times where we rented it out to weddings and other arrangements. In this area we have some horse lays and one of the, actually one of the first one we got was this one here. Uh, this one with a, with a swan ornament in the front. We, we rented that out to a local baker and he used it every quiz, Christmas to put a Christmas uh, decoration on it, Santa Claus and mice and whatnot and he would use that as a showcase to display his um, products. I guess uh, you guys from the US will recognize this wagon. So this is the Wells Fargo Overland Express. It's a, it's a post wagon. And uh, there's an interesting history behind this. It's obviously not old, it's brand new as you can see. And I was in Carson City many years ago and I found, I think it was Carson City, and I found a small model of this and I decided I wanted to buy that for my dad for a Christmas present. And when he got it, obviously he looked at it and said, ah, oh, it would be really nice to have that wagon in a large scale. And uh, I think he went down to Romania and we got the schematics of the wagon. 
Um, those are here, and I believe those are from uh, Oregon. The histor Historical Society in Oregon provided us with the schematics. So he took that down to Romania and, uh, and got it built and made a little bit tweak about putting his name on the side there. And he's uh, very fond of, um, of Indian, so he put, I guess it's Pocahontas, and there's a big um, Indian uh, picture on, uh, on the back here. So, so there's a little bit of history around this one. I didn't expect him actually to, to go all the way to, to make a full-blown uh, scale out of the small present I gave him, but it's pretty, good, pretty cool actually. This cart here, it was used by the doctors back in the time. It's very light, so obviously it was to make them able to get swiftly around uh, in the village to get to the patient really fast. This tiny one here is uh, one made for kids. And we have another one on this side as well, which you can attach to ponies and, and smaller horses. And on the side here, you have single carts. There is actually a way to categorize all these. Uh, there, is a, there is an American association would have put down um, the categories for what you call them. I don't know uh, the categories and the, the, the correct naming of all of them. So, uh, but my dad, he knows a lot more about this, his collection, so he has really good knowledge about each one of them. Moving down here, the light is a little bit poor, so I'm not sure if you can, can see it all too well, but uh, we have a few horse drawn farming equipment here, some wagons and uh, an old uh, manure wagon. In the back here we have two hay wagons, one here and, and one here. This one is in a relatively new state, whether this, this one is, is pretty old. So here we have some single carts, and here we have a couple of plows. Those are locally made here in this area. And uh, we do have more equipment upstairs, so I will, I will show that in a different time. The lighting is really, really poor up there at, at the moment. This is not a museum by, by no means. It's, uh, it's a, like a private collection that we have and the, the, the building itself is still categorized as a barn. And if, we, if we're gonna make a museum, we need to apply it to the proper authority to, to, to make us a change for the use of uh, the building. And that's not gonna happen. So I don't really know what we're gonna do uh, with, the, with the carriages going forward. It's pretty full as you can see now. And it's, it's kind of a shame that um, it's not really open for the public. So I'm hoping in the future that I can get a hold of somebody to actually make a museum to to able to showcase this for the public in a, and present it in a, in, a, in a way it deserves. Because there's a lot of history in here. It would be a shame that it's not put in for the public. Yeah, so this is a short video. So I hope you find it interesting in some way or other. And please do leave a comment below if you want to know more about it, the wagons we have here and the history behind it. And I will try to set up an interview with my relatively shy, camera shy father. So, uh, well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.